Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and in this video, I'll show you a simple way on how to build a sales app. First, what you want to do is just scroll down below this video to the description and click on the first link you find there. Then you're going to come across this platform, Glide. Glide is a platform that lets you create custom apps without coding. So, after clicking the link in the description, now you need to sign up to Glide. You can choose to sign up with your Google or your email address. Once you have completed the sign-up process, you will be directed to your Glide account. Now, creating a sales app in Glide is an effective way to manage your product catalog, accounts, and sales reports. To create a sales app in Glide, the first step in this process is to navigate to the left menu on your Glide dashboard and then click on the Templates option. This will take you to your template page where you can view your existing templates. To access more templates, click on the Template Store option, which will direct you to the Templates Library. The Templates Library features templates organized into different categories, which you can browse from the left menu. If you're looking for a specific template, you can use the search bar at the top of the page. In this case, since we're aiming to create a sales app, we'll type sales into the search bar. When the results appear, choose from any of the given templates. For this tutorial, we'll select the Field Sales template. Clicking on this template will take you to another page where you'll find two options on the right side, Create this app and Preview. Click on Create this app to proceed. You'll then be directed to the editor where you can further customize the template. In the editor, you'll see three options in the top bar, Data, Layout, and Action. The Data option takes you to the Data section where you can customize the data for the app template. The Layout option allows you to customize the layout of the app template, including the navigation from the left side and product settings from the right side. Here, you can also preview the app in both mobile and desktop modes. The Action section is where you can add actions to combine multiple steps into a custom workflow. You can either add a new action by clicking on the Plus New Action button, or use the existing actions given on this page. Once you've customized the app to your satisfaction, it's time to publish it. The Publish button is located at the top right corner of the editor. Click on it to make your app publicly accessible. After publishing, a Share button will appear in the same location. By clicking on this button, you'll have multiple options to share your app, including through a QR code, a direct link, or by inviting users via their email addresses. And there you have it, a new sales app to track your product catalogs, accounts, and sales. To get started, simply sign up using the first link provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found this tutorial useful and learned something new. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thanks for watching, and take care.